this is Jessica with my January reading wrap-up. I had an okay reading month. One book only made five stars. The first two books I will be talking about are books that a book club that I currently belong to are reading. The first one is Leah Moriarty's Apples Never Fall, which is about the Delaney family who live in Sydney, Australia. Stan and Joy Delaney have been married for many years and they have grown children. Then Joy disappears without a trace. The police are called and Stan is accused of murder. But the police also investigate this one girl, Savannah, who was their house guest and stayed with them for a little while. Now, I did not like the plot. I felt it was uh, slow moving, so I give this one star. The next one after that is Colson Whitehead's Harlem Shuffle, which takes place in the 1960s in Harlem, New York. Ray Carney owns a, uh, owns a furniture store. He's married to Elizabeth. They're expecting their second child, and money is tight. So on the side, he and his cousin, Freddie, uh, rob people and to get more money. Now, I thought that the writing style was okay. I give this two stars, but I didn't like the plot, but it's recommended for anyone that likes uh, action books. George Orwell's 1945 classic, Animal Farm, is about Mr. Jones, who owns this farm and his animals are mistreated and overworked. But then somehow a windmill gets destroyed and the animals are even more neglected. Now I give this four stars because I like the writing style, but it's also a trigger warning for anyone that is sensitive to animal abuse. The next one is Alana C. Meyer's last song before night. Now, I didn't know if I was gonna like this novel, and let me tell you, I did. I give this four and a half stars. It's about Kimberlyn Ambrose, who escapes an abusive family, and she finds a uh, love uh, in a, like in a poetry uh, music festival. I would have given this five stars, but there's just too many uh, storylines in here. And I also like the writing style. I felt it flowed beautifully. Uh, the one after that is Michael J. Fox's Lucky Man, which is about uh, how he grew up in Canada. And he also got his start in TV and one of my favorite TV shows of the 80s. Family Ties, and it also talks about his struggle with Parkinson's disease. I'm in the middle of reading this, and I can tell you it's going to be a five-star win. Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Bye, bookworms.